Welcome back friends, in this video we're going to again take a look at the right joins, but this time I'll take a look at them through the lens of the query editor. I'm going to show you some new features there, so clean up your project as usual, and right click, design query and editor, shift, I'm sorry, control shift Q, that's a bit of a hard thing to remember. Alright, give that a go, and make sure again you are within the right database context, if you're not, remember you got to type my dbase and then go at least, okay? All right, so here let's select the tables. I'm going to select the customers table, any orders table, and then close that. And let's do a right join. And let's show you some tips that this here has for you as you work. So first of all, notice that by default in the bottom it says cross join. Right there, see it says cross join. Remember you can change that. So I'm going to take the order ID, left press on it, and then drag. And drop in that one. So the first stage, notice it says customers in their join orders on customers dot order ID equals orders dot order ID. So nothing new there. Let's add some fields. So I'm going to type the following. I'm going to say order ID as an example from the customers table. Or if you remember, we can also do it from the orders table. And then down below it tells you which table is coming from to be more clear. All right, select for example the quantity maybe. And the item it is. All right, and again from the customers table, just select the customer name. So it looks as shown down below. And remember if you want to, you can sort and you can apply where clauses. So. I'm going to do this. You see where it says sort type? Let's go by the quantity here. Let's do it descending as an example. Not that it has to be done that way. It's just an example. And then for the filter here, let's say where the quantity, maybe say it's less than or equal to three or something like that. And of course, notice that everything's modified quite nicely down below. So we're building up the join and the row clause and the order by clause step by step. All right, and besides that, the additional things that you can do here, let's take a look at what I mean. So right click the diamond in the middle. It's a little diamond on the line that joins the two tables. Right click on it and you see where it says select or rows from orders. That is equivalent to saying do a right join. And now look very carefully at the code down below. It gives you this new language, right outer join. I'm going to leave it at that. We'll come back here. So just click OK for now. And we have everything nicely generated for us. And again, of course, the only issue is these table names are so not attractive, right, with dollar symbol and all that. So if you select all of this, and you right click, and you go over to Design, Query, and Editor, it would be nice to be able to fix that. So that goes right there. You can switch them, but I don't see an, an ability, for example, to alias these. But you can do it yourself. Remember that right here where you have customers with a dollar symbol, you, you can type as C, and right there you can type as O. So here I'm going to do this. So remember, we're able to switch the type of join using that window. That's something new. So now let's take a look at this. We have the where applied, then we have the order by applied. Remember that as before, this will run, well, perhaps at this point you should pause the video and kind of go through the execution order. You should be able to list it by now. Okay, I hope you've got this. Remember it's going to be from, on, where, select, and then order by. So let me just write that down. The theoretical execution order from on where, select, order by. And let's give this a go. So select everything and then hit execute. And in this particular case, as you can see, it looks as shown here. Really, there are only two of these, correct? And notice that for both of these records, the quantity here is less than or equal to three. And if you want to see, the purpose is you take one of these things, you comment it out, right? you put down the little two dashes, it goes away, you disable that line, run it again, 
and as you can see, without the where, we have all of these records. Be very careful. Remember, the right join selects all the records from the right table, so to speak. You have to be very careful. Don't confuse the display that you see before you with the way this actually operates under the surface, so to speak. In the display, it's shown this way because, look, in the select, look at our select. You've got the orders ID, the quantity and items listed first. So in a the display, they're listed also first. Order ID, quantity item, that's the reason. But all that matters, if you think about it carefully, is Remember, the on is what matters right here. You see that? So in the on, as you can see, you've got orders as the table on the right side. So you're grabbing all the records from the orders table. And where there are no records in the customers table, you put a null value like here. You see? The reason that they're displayed down below in that way is, again, because we listed the fields this way. So if you have trouble reconciling the two, you can always switch things around for yourself. Okay, so again, to the, an easy way to do that, of course, would be not to do it by hand. I might take a little bit, correct? So you just select all of this, right-click, go back to Design Query and Editor. And here, take a look. I'm going to... So now, right now, we have the fields listed this way. If you want, you can just left press, and while left pressing, just pull up, and it'll put the customer name first. And you can rearrange them that way. And the code down below should reflect that graphical change, and then click OK. And everything should be modified accordingly. So how do we know? Well, we select it and we run it one more time. Hit Execute. And as you can see, now the null's on the left side. So remember in our particular case, from runs first, then you do the join once you have that. Then you subset the records with the where. So in this case, you select only the ones where the quantity is three or less. After that, you grab your columns, and then you order by if you have one. So in our case, it says order by quantity descending. That's fine. So and I want to show you one more thing here. Let's select all of this again. Right-click, Design Query Editor in Window. I haven't really mentioned it very much, but if you right-click here in the space where the tables are, right-click in that space, and you go over to Change Type, besides doing a select, you can insert results, you can insert values, you can update, you can delete, and you can make a table. So let me just show you that relatively quickly here. Make sure that you, have, you don't have anything highlighted here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go over to Design Query and Editor. I'm going to select a table, for example, the customers table if I want to. Click Add, click Close, and we're going to operate on only the customers table, nothing else. So now, notice by default, it gives you Select from Customers. Let's change that. So right click in that space, go over to Change Type and then say insert values. We're going to add a new record. And it gives you a kind of stub down below as you see it here. And take a look. You can select the customer name and then you can insert a new value right there next to it. Or if you want, you can select the other ones, right? An ID. Stick in some ID. Again, it doesn't really matter for our purposes. Put in a 12. Select the next one, customer name. All right, let's just make up a name here. There you go. So, for example, Tom Smith or something like that. And again, for the order ID, just make up some example. I'm going to say, for example, selected. Uh, maybe the order ID, his one is nine or something like that. And it generates it for you right down below. You see? And then, and then it gives you a nice preview like this one here. And the only mysterious thing that shows, as you can see, is that over here now you have this little N in front of the Tom Smith. Well, first of all, let's just run this. So select it, hit Execute, and it says one row is affected. So we should be able to confirm that this has worked. Let's take a look. So I will say select star from 
customers as we've done before. Hit execute and look towards the bottom. We have Tom Smith and it's fine. I'm going to leave it here. I'll put under the lesson resources something that we can go to read up on N a little bit. And I'll see you in the next video.